It's safe to say at this point, guys, Mahogany Bay has some amazing development progress. We're gonna walk you through it right now, starting with, as always, the office that we're building, the new Remax headquarters. So proud of the building, so proud of how it's all turning out. Right now, the finishing team is in there doing the upstairs hardwood floors. Uh, they're starting to paint. You can see them putting the primer on the wall over here. And hopefully soon, we're gonna be getting all the floors in, the painting done, the interior walls, the primer's all on. They've started actually finishing painting some of those walls. AC units are in, and we're starting to get very close to being able to work from here. So I cannot wait. Obviously, it's gonna be so nice to be visiting with you guys from here, working out of this building. And there's some amazing houses going in. We're gonna walk you through them right now. There's a lot of noise on street one. So I'll talk about some of the progress right now, and then we'll go through and we'll try to actually speak on the site, depending on how loud they are. But what you'll see as we go through, a lot of progress is happening in the wheelhouse. They're gonna be finishing that simultaneously while they finish our office. You'll see the turtle back house on the other side of the street there. They're starting to finish the roof, put all the siding in, a lot of the progress there. Same with the house beside it. And you'll see three new developments behind that, which are the two four bedroom homes that are going in. One of those has a pool on the canal side. The wall framing is up for that. The foundation's all in. Then you'll see across the street, there's a duplex going in there, the top mass cottage, which they're putting the pilings and foundation in right now. At the very back of the street, you have Island Academy going in. So let's go take a look at everything right now, guys. So right beside our office here, guys, this is where the new pool and community center is gonna be built. Right here, you see, they're doing the first phase of that by putting the seawall in right now. So it's gonna be an amazing pool. I believe it's gonna be 65 feet long and the seawall is going in there. And then after that, the next phase is gonna be starting the pool right here, right across the street from the barcade. But let's take a walk into the office here. So as we come in, let's see all the primer. AC units are in. Some more wood out here drying. These doors here are going to be frameless glass doors. You'll see right down the canal. entrance right here and now let's go up to the second floor and you'll see the hardwood floors all going in there we go a lot of progress The space is gonna get a lot of natural light when you take these off the windows and this is gonna be all open. This is gonna be a little chill space out here. Great views. All the new commercial on street one is gonna be going in across the street there. And hopefully we're gonna be out of this project pretty quick here and see more, more supplies, more materials coming in. And here is the site for the pool right there from bird's eye view there's the wheelhouse there's the turtle back that's where the barcade is going they're gonna have golf simulators arcade so this is gonna turn into something really amazing really quick here guys here's a foundation going in for the barcade shot of the rendering it's gonna be an awesome project So beside the wheelhouse, or I guess across the street from the wheelhouse, you have Turtleback Cottage, the modern home with the lock-off, and then something that's literally popped up over the last month, and these houses are just in cruise control. They're going so well. 
are two four bedroom outrigger cottages. Across the street from that is the top mass, like I had said. Right now in the wheelhouse, they're painting it, they're putting the hardwood floors in, they're putting the AC units in, they're putting the windows in. There is a ton of work going on there right now. We need to go up and show you the loft space. Get an idea of just how big it is. Just an awesome extra space up here. Across the street, you'll see that they're going to be putting in the siding on the two outrigger cottages. And a lot of the framing on these units is all done now. So it's an amazing progress going on here, guys. So many homes coming into Street One with the pool, with the Remax office. The turtle back has this beautiful deck on the front end. And there's two rooms on the sides here. And then as you come in, this is the kitchen living space. So a nice open kitchen and living space with the rooms there. Then you come back onto your deck with your pool, canal access over there. So it's a really beautiful layout here. See it from this angle as well. Love this model. And of course, the modern house, it has to have a pool as well. If you're looking to do a rental project, guys, I highly recommend having the private pool on your property. It's a huge asset when people are looking on Airbnb, looking on VRBO for their rental, if you have that private pool. So I definitely recommend that. But let's go walk to the, uh, the other homes over here. So here we go into the modern home right now. You can see it's got a slant roof. The bathroom is there. Great sized pool on the back end here. The nice deck. Then the canals on the back end there. So this unit has a lock off over there. And I really love this. This is done by Latitude 20. Right over here, you'll see where the top mass cottage is going. They're just putting the foundation in here. They're putting the pilings in. And when they drill these, something you guys might not know, the bedrock is about 10 feet below the surface here in Mahogany Bay. So they use an auger to drill in and secure the pilings to the bedrock. This is the path of progress, guys. Mahogany Bay right now must be employing over 500 people, maybe more. Nowhere in Belize are you seeing development like this, and there's a reason. You know, it's detached homes, fee simple title, whole ownership. Owners have great property rights. You're in a gated community, canal access, rental management, the list goes on and on. So we're walking up to the outrigger now. This is a four bedroom. And you'll see these houses have just been motoring along. Great decks on the back end. They're building two of these simultaneously. It's gonna be amazing to watch the progress here. Street one and street four are immediate build timelines. So right now there's about, I'd say about 20 or so people working with the architect to finalize their plan. And when they're done, they're gonna be going into the ground. Guys, here we are where Island Academy is gonna go. You can see the Hilton Hotel in the background here. The playground is gonna go right there. I'm gonna flip the camera around now. The buildings are all gonna be refurbished. Like we mentioned before, it's gonna be amazing to see the legacy of Island Academy continue, having a private school within the project. So we've made it over to street four now, guys, and behind me is another outrigger cottage going in here. You can see the pilings are in. This is gonna be the same as the two side-by-side -side units on street one. This is a four bedroom home. It's gonna have beautiful sunset views from the deck here, and they've literally just put these piles in. So now they're gonna cut them down so they're all level and then start to work on the, the flooring and framing. So excited to see this come in. Let's keep walking down street four and show you what else is coming. Coming over here, this is the tiny home project and they're pretty much putting the finishing touches on it. You'll see the pool there, nice, beautiful deck. They have landscaping here and the finishing crews are right in here, knocking everything out. It's lunchtime right now, so guys will be on their break. Time to hop in here. Yeah, man, how's it going? So they're just touching up the floors. Beautiful hardwood floors. You can see the kitchen. You've got all the cabinets there. Some of the furniture in here. This is the one bedroom with a loft. We come around here. See they have some of their landscaping going in. The pool's gonna be finished out. And here is the additional guest casita. Love the sliding barn doors they have in here. Just looks phenomenal. Guys, behind me you see the large compound on street four. 
Again, you can build out of concrete if you want. There are some benefits. Uh, when you do quote the project out, you can get a quote in concrete and in wood if you'd like to compare the prices. Uh, some people are choosing to go concrete now, some are choosing to go wood. It really depends on budgeting preferences and a lot of variables. So this is an amazing compound coming along. Street four is an immediate build timeline. So we'll go down, look at a couple more of the units coming in here and just really great to see more progress here. This is over two lots. So if you guys did want to build something larger, you can build over two. In some cases, we have people building over three lots. They have this beautiful little guest unit here. It's called a crofter. Then they have two larger homes on the outside. They have jet ski uh, docking area here with two boat slips. Beautiful sunset views over here. So guys, you can exit any of the canals back here in a matter of minutes and be out in the Caribbean Sea. You come right out around Caya Spanto, which is a beautiful luxury island on the west side of the island here, just off the coast. And then you can go up to Secret Beach, you can go around to the east side. So the, the water access goes out to the ocean in a matter of minutes. Right beside the big compound, you can see this Cordage Cottage is coming along amazing. You walk around here, you see a better view here. So the Cordage Cottage here. One of the really th great benefits of the Cordage Cottage is the amount of lot space you have left over. So you see in the back here, you have room to put guest houses, pools, you have a lot of room to do stuff with this Cordage Cottage. And then you have this nice balcony over there in the front and yeah guys and then you still have the the canal side back here so you have a lot of lot left over if you build a cordage cottage here shoot some interior for you guys so moving down the street here guys you have two i believe it's called the moonraker cottage two moonraker cottages it's a nice two bedroom seawall is already in over here and they've got the foundation going in you can see that here and then literally you'll see the lot cleared right over there it's going to be another moon raker and a lot of these lots are already sold it's just a matter now of picking their plan or working with the architect right now to make any tweaks so this street is going to come along very fast and there's going to be a lot of progress just like you've seen all around the, the, the whole project here if you guys have any questions about mahogany bay send me a message send me an email i'm happy to chat Thanks again for watching guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of amazing content coming. And also check out our book on Amazon, The Investor's Guide to Belize Real Estate. In it we detail all the things you'd want to know if you're looking to make an investment in the Belize market. We had experts such as lawyers, bankers, architects, builders all get involved in the making of this book. It's available on Amazon and Kindle. Aside from that, can't wait to see you guys down here. And don't forget to say hi to Chewy.